Hi everyone, how are you all going? Hopefully you're all having a wonderful week. Thanks for tuning into the Dally Society. My name's Kristen and welcome back to the channel if you're a regular viewer and if you're a first timer here, I hope uh, I'll be able to inspire you to create your own dream wardrobe. I'm back here with a bit of inspiration. Haven't done one of these videos for some time now and before I get started on some uh, cutting up patterns and preparation, I thought I'd get on here and chat through all of my planned makes for the next few weeks. It's really lovely actually thinking about what I want to make. Um, I'm actually heading out tonight. We're going to see Chris Isaac in concert at the Palais Theatre in Melbourne. And I had these ambitious plans to make myself a blouse. And I don't know what I was thinking because with box launch this week, we had the Artist Muse box launch for April. We've been so busy doing orders and we've just got them all out on their way to you guys and I haven't left myself any time to do any sewing at all. Um, I don't know what it is. As soon as you have an event, I always think, look in the wardrobe, I think I've got heaps of things I can wear, but I always feel like wearing something new, uh, especially when that kind of change of season happens. And I give myself barely any time. I always think, yeah, I reckon I could make something in, in a day or so. And you forget that life gets in the way. And I really don't want to put that much pressure on myself. And I thought, just make what? the blouse for yourself. I'm sure there'll be a reason to wear it for some other, um, for some other time, even just with a pair of jeans. Um, but yeah, so I'm, instead I'm wearing this blouse, which is a favourite pattern of mine. This is the beautiful Helmy blouse from Forget Me Not Patterns. Joe over in New Zealand has the lovely pattern company Forget Me Not, and they're all PDF patterns, but we are happy to print any A0 patterns from them that you wish. And I have to say, this is one of my favourite all-time blouses. Uh, not only the pattern itself, but the beautiful cosset printed viscose now i do have some of this fabric in store it was very popular last year when we had it in so i was lucky to be able to get another batch of this in so speaking about this fabric of course cosette is one of our beautiful french boutique brands we stock in the store this is a viscose it's called sonara desert and the print and colors are perfection i absolutely love the, all the different greens and the bit of rust there the, the kind of khaki and the olives it's right up my alley i just love wearing these kind of colors but i really love the blouse it is uh there's a few different versions you can make the beautiful peter pan style collar and to be honest i didn't think it was going to suit me but i'm really happy that i chose to make it love it with that keyhole front but next time i want to make the version without the collar with the i want to do the tie neck but with the sleeve ruffle so i'm just looking for the perfect fabric for that and i might need to have it go and have another look and see what i've got but it's definitely a contender of one of my favorite all-time blouses ever so definitely need to revisit that. I think it would make a beautiful dress as well, like a lengthened kind of a shift dress with some boots. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely pattern. I love the fact that you can have the elastic sleeves and a nice billowy, um, billowy sleeve so that when you want to pull them up, they're nice and easy to do that. I really love the look of cuffs, but I find that they're not as practical for me you know, unless I leave them rolled up. I really love an elasticated cuff and I've used the uh, thick, elastic in these cuffs just to give it a nice bit of structure but really happy with the helmy can definitely recommend that um, so what have i got planned to make the first thing that well this one I actually skipped ahead i had i had another make plan first well, i'm going to talk about that first so i'm going to go back to the start this fabric is one i have in store it's a viscose knit now it's a beautiful print it's like a charcoaly black background with a rust kind of leaf very autumnal and I want to make myself a top. Uh, it's a style like top called the Lorna Knit Top. I really like the unique star lines in this top. I'll put some pics up so you can see. I've uh, printed out the pattern already. I love the fact that it's kind of the drop shoulder, but it has that seam line across the yoke. A really nice shape on with a really unusual um, sleeve, like a billowy sleeve as well. So it's a take on a kind of casual knit top, but kind of juiced up dressed up a little bit so i really like those kind of tops for everyday wear because i love wearing um you know yoga style sort of sweatpants or you can pop it on with a pair of jeans or maybe a nice denim skirt and some boots and dress it up with a little jacket as well so 
Uh, I was going to make just a regular style um, sweater top with a round neck and I thought, no, I'll make something a little bit different. So I'm hoping that the style lines of that Lorna will show up nicely with the print because sometimes the more detail you have and the more lines and, and, you know, work in a top and you don't get to see it all once you've got the print, the print takes over. Um, but I think I'll give it a go in that fabric. I think it'll be a really nice practical one. Uh, I've got a couple of nice cardigans as well I can wear over the top of that for layering up. Now I'm in a bit of a different location. I'm actually under my veranda because it's been a really um, misty kind of rain all morning and I tried filming it under a tree and got a little bit wet and I just thought, look, I've just done my hair. It's going to go to freeze if I get it a bit damp. But it's actually beautiful out here. The lighting's really nice. It's very overcast. Uh, all the little um, drops of rain are sort of holding onto the tree so it's giving it a really nice nice saturating kind of a water today i've got some beautiful um spider webs in the garden some golden orb spiders that hang around here and make the most beautiful intricate patterns so it's actually quite beautiful out here in this type of weather and i really am loving all the autumn color at the moment the dahlias are just blooming like mad at the moment i'm gonna put some visuals up so you can see so the dahlias are starting to pop up and yes the girls are all out <laughs> um, you'll see there's quite a good variety popping out. I don't remember many of the names of these. This is a really big one. It's a cacti variety. And these beautiful pink decorative ones have got a really pretty shaped petal. They're not quite ready to be cut yet because the bottom of the story, the centers haven't fully opened, but that one's nearly there. This one's a really pretty dusty pink as well. These ones have got something going on with their petal formation. I'm not really sure what's happening with those, but I've had them for quite some time. We've got really pretty burgundy pom-pom variety. To net this lot up, we had some naughty possums getting in, eating some of the <laughs> new growth. But this one here is a gorgeous cacti variety with a really pretty magenta pink. And these are looking to be the cream of the crop. This beautiful cafe or late, oh, it's one of my favourites. Look at the size of that. It's a really pretty coffee kind of creamy colour, really pretty uh, like antique looking dahlia or dahlia, however you like to say it. <laughs> um, it's one of the most popular varieties, isn't it? Isn't it, Missy? What a nice pom-pom variety there. These ones are gorgeous two-tone variety and it is really pretty leaf formation on that with that really dusting of colour on the edges. And look at the amount of flowers about to bloom from that one tuber. So you really do get good money's worth. If you wanted to plant something that's going to flower, look into planting some dahlias. how beautiful um, the, the ones are that I have had bloom and cut already. I'm terrible at remembering names other than the Cafe or Late, which is a favourite. Very beautiful antique kind of cream colour, really lovely petal formations. Um, yeah, that's one of my favourites. But all the other ones, I end up buying a pack of mixed Dahlia tubers and um, can't remember many of the names, but I'm pretty sure I could look and do a bit of research if I had to. But yeah, it's a good mix of colours there. But loving how they come up in a beautiful vase as well. Um, try and make sure I cut them once all the petals are open. And I've had a couple of viewers reach out and say that they've planted Dahlia tubers for the first time this year and had some wonderful flowers coming out so it's a beautiful thing to see them um, see, see look it's not a lot of work to plant them but to see that it takes a little bit of work to get such beautiful flowers to decorate the table but yeah loving that at the moment um, so moving on to another thing that I have planned to sew and that is the gorgeous Elise Taylor blouse which is the Pimpad blouse now 
I printed that one out. PDF didn't realize that it was no A0, but that's okay. I just put the PDF together as normal. It didn't take me too long because I think it's like 20 pages in this pattern, but I do actually sell the paper format in the store if you're wanting the beautiful Lise Taylor um, paper format patterns. They are beautifully decorated pa pattern envelopes as well. But this one, it really speaks to me. I think I like that yoke style at the top, the little rounded collar. I love the fact that it's got the yoke at the back as well and that nice bit of gathering. And I wanted something I could wear with a pair of um, dressy style pants or jeans. And I will actually make it the length as it is because sometimes I length, lengthen things and then I regret and end up taking off the length because I think it's just a nice length to have it floaty over pants or tucked into jeans with a belt like she's got there. So that one is a really beautiful little blouse. I'm looking forward to making that. And I've actually chosen a beautiful viscose, which is the French brand Eglantine Zoe. And this is the really stunning licorice and emerald green print. It is a really lovely viscose. So it's got a little bit more oomph to it. It's more of a viscose twill, but it's a lovely kind of brushy effect, which is beautiful for this time of year. And I am really looking forward to making that pin pant blouse. It looks like it's got the burrito method as well. And it's a few nice little details I'm really liking. Uh, it's a matter for me is the hard thing is picking button to match because I really love all the beautiful little buttons. I'm possibly looking at a pearlized kind of a cream button. But I thought the black might really do a good service to the, to the print because it'll let everything else stand out. So it could be black. But the fuchsia also could look really pretty as well. So that's the hardest thing is picking out a really pretty button. So we are getting a lot more buttons in store. At the moment, you'll see the button um, the button numbers have gone down substantially because they've been so popular. So I'm really looking forward to putting some beautiful little buttons on that as well. So yes, that will be my next blouse pattern to make. The next thing I have on the list of potential makes for the next coming month, uh, I may have spoken about in the last video that I put out with uh, was at the sewing desk and that was the Catherineette from Cosette Patterns. A really nice simple little floaty blouse as well. Uh, that one I had some fabric from Fabric Godmother picked out, the Enri Viscose Crepe, the black and white print, totally sold out. So that I it, yeah, managed to escape me that fabric, but I've looked on the Fabric Godmother site and at the moment we are not able to get any more of that fabric. Bummer, I should have moved faster, but no, it's all gone. There's a couple more of their prints that have been really, really popular in that new range of Fabric Godmother prints. So I'm going to try and get hold of some more, but the Enri was one I really want, wanted to get in the pink as well, and that was all gone too. So you've got to be quick. But what I think, um, I might make it in the beautiful Cosette Crepe Magenta. That's a really lovely viscose crepe, nice and floaty, and it's got a little cute little love heart, like a navy love heart throughout it as well. So I think that will look really nice in the Catherineette, and I love that colour. It is a stunning colour. It's that fuchsia magenta -y, pinky purple colour, um, and I think that will also look beautiful with a little pair of jeans. So that one in the Catherineette is definitely what I want to make. Um, it's a really nice fluid looking blouse and I've, I really like something different with that kind of v-neck and you'll notice on the pics I'll put up here the uh, model has it in a really pretty like a cheesecloth white fabric as well that looks beautiful. So you're needing um, seven buttons so 10 millimeter buttons and only 1.5 meters of fabric for the Catherineette. Um, so we do have a few more Cosette patterns coming over on their way from France at the moment. We've got the new Rocket jacket that I think would look amazing in the new black corduroy that we have, which is a beautiful velvety, uh, lovely soft corduroy. And we've got a black gabardine in as well from them. But there's also the, I think it's the jet dress that's in the magma viscose that is coming as well. It's a really pretty shirt dress. So they all are all coming over and we've restocked a lot of our Cosette patterns. It's been very, very popular as well. Now we've also done an order from Lady McElroy. We have some stretch denims coming over from the UK that we've been meaning to restock for some time now. I know a lot of you are waiting for stretch denims. These are amazing quality. Got a nice amount of spandex. I think it's a, it's a two or three percent spandex, which gives you that bit of stretch as well. So I want to make in the beautiful burgundy denim 
I want to make a pillow jacket and I've been saying that for over a year now. It's one of those patterns of it's just, it just keeps escaping me and I don't know why because whenever I've seen it on somebody, it looks a million dollars. Um, Mason Fove patterns, of course, pillow jacket is one of their most iconic patterns. We do have the patterns in store. We are getting more of the denim in. So hopefully by the time I finish this jacket, I'll have more of the stretch denims to show you. So we're getting quite a big variety of colors as well. Um, but we do have non-stretch denim in store. That's the Cosette range. And we've also got a lot of amazing gabardines in, which would look beautiful in that pillar jacket too. So a bit of inspiration there to, to help you guys if you're wanting to have a nice layering style uh, denim jacket with a bit of a twist. Those beautiful darts on the shoulders are just so unique and, and lovely. So it's definitely a jacket. I can imagine myself wearing especially over a lot of my printed blouses now i don't know about you but this time of year is when i feel like wearing sort of sweaters and you know yoga pants but i kind of like those nice like ponty style um wide leg yoga pants i find them really really comfortable i do buy ready to wear ones but i am kind of thinking of tweaking and making myself a couple of pairs with some black ponty we are getting more ponty in as well in the next couple of weeks there's a lot of people waiting on our beautiful viscose ponty so it's such practical fabric to sew with and to wear uh, and nice and soft as well but I have been meaning to make myself a cardigan with this beautiful fabric this beautiful chartreuse ponty I think it would look amazing over this blouse as well there's a couple of styles that I've been wanting to make I did put out a video last year all about ponty and different um, pattern inspiration what to make with ponties as well so I'll link that here if you haven't seen that uh, maybe head back over and watch that and to get a bit of fresh inspiration. But the patterns that I'm looking at currently, there's quite a few of them. One is that Metro Blazer from Love Notions. It's more of a Cotigan style cardigan. It's a really lovely shape, has that nice um, waterfall front. There's also a really nice one from Stylark as well that I've seen someone make on Instagram and it looked really lovely in the Ponty. Um, there's also the... Um, Sinclair Patterns Candy Cardigan, which is another really lovely waterfall front. Um, that looks really nice as well. And there's also free patterns like the Harper Cardigan from uh, Sinclair as well. It's just a nice long line straight cardigan. But I think I want to make something with that waterfall front. I think it just really glams up an average looking cardigan. The other one I really like is the Fulton Blazer. And it is a little bit more of a dressier look blazer in the ponty knit so it's just such a nice fabric to wear so at the moment it looks like it could be out of the metro blazer and the sinclair candy cardigan so maybe tossing up between those two but i think that would be, make a really nice little cardi for wearing over the top of some nice wide leg yoga style pants and nice and comfy too so they are the plans at the moment now our last box for the season in may of course our last box is the deluxe box which will be in May. That is going to be an amazing theme that we're putting together at the moment. The fabric, the deluxe fabric for next month is going to be a fabric godmother uh, fabric, which is just incredible. There's going to be two colorways. The theme for the month is called Rustic River. So it's an imaginary place full of beautiful autumnal trees and winding creeks and rivers and babbling brooks. So if we can invoke a bit of inspiration for you guys to dream about somewhere that you can smell the hot apple pies baking and spices and oh it's it's going to be an incredible box um we've got to have two different colorways one is called the orchard and one is called the grove so it's a very exciting box full of goodies as well and phoebe and i've been hard at work looking at boxes for the rest of the year we pretty much have all of our boxes set for this year and fabrics and everything worked out so it's been a really enjoyable thing to make sure that everything's set up and running and we have some really incredible boxes coming your way so uh, we've had a lot of love on the last few that we've had out as well so some exciting things happening here at the Dahlia Society thank you so much for watching today if you haven't subscribed to the channel I'd love it if you could do that and also don't forget a thumbs up helps bring other sewers like you to the channel too so write in the comments below what you think about the picks that I have there for the month I'd love to hear what you're all sewing as well and I'm slowly making my way through the comments for the last few uh, vlogs that have been out as well. It's taking time but I'm trying to get there so hopefully you're all well. Take care and we'll see you all next time for some new fabrics. Thanks for watching and bye for now.